Sofago. You probably heard that name and you might have even clicked off of the video because you're so tired of hearing people talking about Sofago and what he could have been and where he could, you know, and oh my god, man, Sofago, he was special. And, you know, I am a little guilty of that. I made a, I made a video too and uh, back in my day, I'm just kidding. You, you get what I'm saying. But uh, who hasn't? I'm just kidding. All of you guys, right? Because uh, you guys don't make underground rap commentary videos. You guys are having me. I'm reevaluating my, my life decisions right now as we speak. But anyways, that's not what this video is about. This video is about should we give up or should we just give up on Sofago? And just the whole state of his career, really. Because Sofago, like there is someone, like I don't know what he did. If his family is, I don't know, cursed or like there's some type of like, this dude is cursed. There's, there's something like every time he's about to get a like every time there's something going for him someone just smashes that luck away i'll give you an example recently look he's been previewing some snippets they've been hard he's about to drop his tape or album war 2 and that's a sequel to his uh, popular tape war that was released in like 2018 2019 something like that really good uh really good uh project by the way there's this one song with a piano that i really like that was very vague but yeah good music but anyways um they leaked the entire tape. They leaked everything. They leaked so much, in fact, that they even leaked a music video. They're leaking music videos of Fago. They're leaking more Fago than they're leaking Playboy Cardi right now. Like, Fago cannot catch a break. I don't know what he did to deserve this, but it's just like, dang. And, you know, if you look back at his career ever since he had, he was like D1, you know, Fago was like the chosen one. I remember watching a Kids Take Over video and they were like, who is Sofago? Sofago. And he was talking, basically talking about how like everyone in the industry was hitting him up about Sofago. And they're like, oh my God, we think he's going to be the next big thing. And then Kardashian started playing his music or something at like a birthday party. And then Travis Scott signed him and we're like, oh my God, he's about to go mainstream. And then he took two years to drop and he dropped Pink Hearts. There was a DJ Khaled feature on it or something <laughs> like dog. And it was like this R&B sound. Then it was it was not great, guys. It was it was not a good time, especially if you were like a, a big fan of him, because then you were like, dang. And he had a lot of those because he was consistently dropping like crazy. There's also a bunch of random lore about Fago. Like he used to be like a Roblox like uh, warrior. Like he used to like be super into Roblox and would like be like those people that would have ops in Roblox and stuff. And uh, he also used to be cool with Glock 40 Spaz. I mean, they hung out and yeah, of course he had beef with Summers and Slay World and all that and Can Can and whatnot. And, you know, he was doing his thing and he was, he had a group spider and this cool little Tekka and, you know, he blew up on TikTok. Like, he's had an eventful career, if I'm being honest. Like, however, like, what, eventually, like, something's got to give, bro. Like, bro, just drop a hit or something already. Like, we're waiting. We've been waiting. You know, the thing about Sofago, which is one thing I feel like the reason why people don't give up on him is he's actually capable of making beautiful music that's very unique and to just him if that makes sense recently he's just been touring with other artists i guess he's been recording a lot and yeah i don't know his his career is in such a limbo right now and you know i can't even help but feel bad too for one the leaks like looks like he's been putting in work and by the way all the songs that have leaked recently have all been hard but you know they're just leaking all this dude's music i don't know what he's got to do he might just have to fucking uh sit in his room and just record all by himself or something because it's just like bro the way they're doing Fago right now is not cool at all. I mean, uh, even if you go back to the Astro World situation, if you don't know, um, Fago is signed to Travis Scott. You guys probably all know that, but um, I just realized that um, I uh, I uh, what was that? Well, um, I said that earlier in the video that he signed to Travis Scott, but um, you know, the whole Astro World situation totally definitely like screwed Fago's momentum up because like Pink Tape would have dropped earlier. Another thing is, I don't know, it's kind of weird, like, Travis Scott never gave him a feature, he never put him on Utopia, he never, he doesn't even, rec like, he doesn't even acknowledge Sofago, there, there was a point where Travis Scott unfollowed Sofago, which is like, dang, like, Sofago was supposed to be, like, this prodigy, or like, super talented kid, and just like, dang. You know, another thing that I think he definitely also suffered from, you know what they say, like, you know when everyone tells a kid he's super smart, and the kid is just like, oh... And then basically what happens to the kid is they don't put in work or effort into school anymore because they don't or they don't want to like look like they're dumb. So they basically only do things that they're good at. But obviously that's not how shit works. So like eventually they, you know, they start suffering and they do poorly in school because, you know, I guess they're always the smart kid or whatever. I feel like Fago was always like, oh, he's going to be he's next up. He's going to be so big. Oh, he's so good. Blah, blah, blah. But then um, eventually when the time came and he, he wasn't there, uh, he got passed by Yeet. Then he got passed by Ken Carson and got passed by Destroy and Lonely. Now he got passed by like everyone else he even got passed by rich amiri like dog you know what i mean but um 
I guess it just yeah, it just wasn't supposed to be like that, you know. I guess that was kind of corny. Oh, it just wasn't supposed to be like that, but it happened. So you know, so I think what happened was you know he thought, oh, I'm just next up. He just assumed he would get so big that he thought he didn't have to do what everyone else did. He didn't have to preview a ton of snippets. He didn't have to, uh, and he did a little bit, but he he didn't have to like drop singles like everyone else was dropping. He didn't have to actually drop you know drop music, which is what pushes your career. And uh, yeah, he definitely suffered the consequences of that. You know what I mean? So yeah, he definitely suffered from that like smart kid syndrome or whatever. I that's that's my that's my theory or take on it. But anyways, like what I was think what the whole video is about is like should we even care about Sofago at this point? Like what is really gonna what's the worst what's the best case scenario for Fago to drop some music? Cause like the thing about Fago is his music isn't super mainstream. I think he's like independent or he has like a distribution deal, so maybe he could still go viral on TikTok, but it doesn't look like it. I think he could have something crazy and everyone will be like, oh my god, he proved the haters wrong, but I definitely think he could just fizzle out in a couple of years but that's what people also said when he dropped pink heart when he dropped pink hearts or when he was like mia or whatever They're like oh he's just gonna fizzle. but he didn't for some reason everyone just loves talking about sofago i mean i guess i'm kind of being a hypocrite and doing it right now but like people will always talk about sofago like, oh his music leaked oh he did this oh he dropped the single oh he did like i don't know what it is the other thing about sofago is he was never really associated with too many other people in the underground he always just had it or okay he had his group spider went on but like he's just always had like his own little wave or section i don't know how to explain it does that make sense and um yeah so i guess that's maybe why a lot of people like to uh a lot of people mess with sofago but you know things are what they are i guess so not really much i can um i can uh i can say yeah to be honest sofago's career is kind of like a i don't know i don't know what you'd say like a lesson or it's just so weird you know it's like he could be up there but he's not because he didn't i don't know did he not put in the work i guess he just didn't make the right moves i guess a lot of it is luck too like it's just a combination of a lot of things it's just like dang a real head scratcher you know but um at the end of the day drops bad music i won't listen if he drops good music i will listen the other thing about him too is like his output is so slow like he used to drop so much and now it's like maybe you'll get a good single from him like once every day. actually he dropped an ep with some good music but you know he's dropped some valid music past print cards and there's some good leaks but it's just like i don't know he's got to really drop consistently put out put himself out there consistently but I, I don't know but also he is under travis scott so you know hopefully travis scott gets him right and he's good but you never know you know like hard to say so Fago, where do I even start, man? So yeah, so Fago has been underground since the Trump administration, bro. We all get it. I think the saddest part is that I was like really rooting for him, bro. I was tapped in early gear two. Remember gear two, bro? Gear two was hard. Or like those SHG Kobe collabs, like late night. I don't even know if people were around back then. People were actually saying, yo, he's the next out the underground. And when you have a real fan base and then you get brought to a label and get money behind you, it's like, that's supposed to be like the breakthrough point. Like, like he had a little buzz going himself. The label's supposed to amplify that. The second he signed to Cactus Jack, which apparently wasn't even like a real deal. Apparently it was just a distribution deal. But I don't believe that to be honest because the, the Pink Hearts rollout was crazy. Like the Jimmy Kimmel show, the Beats ad, like the LeBron co-sign and stuff. Like, that's not stuff that uh, a small underground artist just gets on his own. That's like real travis scott label motion behind it he just dropped like a single with bear one boss which low-key like stamps the idea that he has to re-enter the underground he has he's like officially has to come back to the underground and regrow a fan base first of all i listened to the song it was mid bro i just needed him to come with the high energy stuff he's like doing the same lazy flows leaving so much space in between his bars and stuff low-key i think what's happening is the summer's curse like just how the opium tour got canceled after summers got jumped by homicide gang and them so fago's career is like falling apart after his uh beef with summers when he was coming up he went way too far calling summers like a light-skinned monkey bro that was not funny also has anyone ever thought of the fact that like so Fago's name is literally an ad for a f beverage company. Like, like a big soda company would pay a lot of money for there to be a rapper named after. Imagine there was a rapper called like Big Pepsi or some. Sh Fago Loki owes a lot of their success to like the rap community and rap scene. Like, I wonder if they put money into it to like promote their brand and stuff and get them like their image boosted in in the genre or something. Like, I remember being a kid, bro. I used to like buy Fago just because. Lucky was saying he was pouring a four into Fago or some shit. It would like low-key be smart if Fago started hosting like underground shows or something. But that's why I'm the f 
marketing genius okay so my last thoughts bro gear two sofago's gear two is one of the best songs of all time honestly all it takes is one sofago song and he's back in the conversation bro because the the underground is such a short term memory that literally one one hit song he's back bro and it's smart the bear one boss thing he's like re-establishing himself in the the new communities i think he has to stop carrying himself like a huge rapper too like his instagram and his image and stuff is kind of giving to like a big label rapper which is something that like if that's not him bro he's a roblox playing underground rapper he needs to like play into the image more interact with his fans he does have diehards but his fan base isn't big enough to play like the the cool guy aesthetic anymore so, like so fago bro you want to come back Reestablish yourself in the underground because these underground kids got short-term memory make your image more authentic be yourself bro play roblox like go on twitch and play roblox or something and then just drop some high energy stuff bro drop a hashtag hush mode in the comments if you watch this far stay blessed